Hey guys, I have five libraries, especially for creating trailer hits, impacts, whooshes, and other sound effects. Let's get started. The first one is Phoenix by Veer2. And I really love this one. It's simple, but it's very, very effective. And you have eight different slots and they are divided between the rise and the hit but you don't have to obey by that rule and you can do a lot of things here. And I actually have a full tutorial on this one, but let's have a quick listen. So what we have here for these uh, different slots is a selection if it's a rise and hit, as you can see on the top one, or we can use this uh, as a combined whoosh. So for example, I can go for the bottom one. I'll just go with a whoosh. I'm going to turn it on because it's actually turned off. And now we can, we can just have a listen to that one. And we have color coded key switches so I can just use that to create uh, the whoosh and let's have a listen right you get the idea now other things that you can do here is assign different effects and different modulations to each of those slots so let's see that I'm going to into effects and you can see that we have individual engine rise one and i can just click on those and select any to have its very own effects now we do have a master effect uh, chain and of course we also have modulation so there's a lot of things that you can do let's hear another example Other things that you can do in this library is, by the way, drag and drop, import your own samples, and you can also adjust the length, the time it takes for the whole scene to work. And right now it's four bits. We can change it to, let's say, eight, and it will adjust the samples, but you can work in seconds. And you can also go into edit mode. So I'll just click the edit right now and you can see we have some more controls like the volume panning and the attack. We have a low and high pass filters right here and there's an output assignment. So right now we're on master, but we can just send any of those slots to different outputs. So that is Phoenix. Let's move to the next one. So this is Devastator Pro and well, we don't have enough time to cover everything and there's so many things here. So this is the sort of builder and if you just click this drop down, you'll see that we have a lot of categories. For example, right now we are on trailer hits, but I can go with benders and cinematic benders. Let's, let's do that. And again, we have eight slots and we can just assign different samples and tweak any of those in different ways. And then we have the timeline to just lay out everything. But there are other types of uh, instruments included in this library, not only this builder. But let me give you another example and I really hope you're listening to this uh, in your studio where you can actually have the, all the subs and all the low end and not through your phone, right? So let's see, let's go with signatures. We 
Very cool. Let's try something else. So I'm using complete control. You can use contact, of course. And by the way, it can run both of the libraries, Phoenix and this one can run in the free contact player. So I'm going to go and show you some stuff. So we have rhythm pulses, for example. So this will bring in a whole different type of instrument with, with a sequencer. So you can see there's a lot of things that you can do here. And if we we'll go into the tuning, you'll have tuning for each of those. And we have filters, we have just adjusting the scenes and there are some automations that you can uh, tweak and change. And if you'll just go inside here, there are quick loads and templates to choose from and you can save your own, of course. And so with that, let's move to the next one which is going to be Rise and Hate by Native Instruments, an old but very uh, well established. So here we have the same idea as with Phoenix. We have different slots and we have wishes or hits and you can just see that they are splitting or maybe just continuous samples. And again, let's have a quick listen. And these instruments also give us the ability to change the rise time. We can change that. We can have it very short and we can set this to beats or seconds. And of course, for each of those slots, we can change the underlying sample very easy. And if we only want the second part, only that hit, I can use the yellow keys. So next I have two libraries from UVI, which I really love. Let me show you the first one, Whoosh. So I'm running this one inside Falcon 2, which is the flagship sampler slash music production system by UVI. And if you want more information, just let me know. I'm going to put links into the description of this video with my tutorials. But let's see what we've got. I'm going to start with a few examples. So Woosh, as its name suggests, is basically a whoosh creator and we have three different layers and we can just go and draw different well, motions on top. Right now I'm on the noise section. I have texture one and I can change that. And there's the duration, there's movement, we have filters and we have other effects. So let's try some more and I'm going to go with a, a pass by. So you can hear how we're going from left to right. And you can see that also here in the movement, we can see the pass by going from left to the right and we can change that. So if you're looking for some effects related to wishes or flybys, this is great. So the last one also by UVI, this is Meteor. Let's see what's inside. So this one again 
is a whoosh and a hit or rise and a hit. Let's see some more examples. So in the categories, you can see we have Meteor and Highlights. We have Slams, Boom, Cinematic, Orchestra, and so on. So many categories, so many samples and presets. So let's try these booms. and try some stutters and pulses. Combat. And we even have some instruments, so let's try them. And let's see some more. We have destruction, for example. So in this library, also you have some controls. For example, you can turn on and off the rise or the impact, and you have different settings here in the mixer. So there are multiple samples loaded here. We also have the rise length. We can change that one. We have the impact offset. And if we we'll go into settings, there are so many things that you can do here. So this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments which one you liked most and let me know if you have any questions and I'll try and give you an answer as quickly as I can. And of course, if you want to see more such videos or you want to see more details of any of those instruments, again, let me know in the comments and check my Facebook, my Twitter, my Discord, all the links in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks and bye-bye.